come all my dear friends let us proceed with our question series from chapter 2 that is inventions not patentable from the patent act 1970 as amended by amendment act 2005 so let us proceed today's question section 3 clause d of the act pertains to option a the mere discovery of any new property option b new use for a known substance option c the mere discovery of a new form of a known substance without enhancing efficacy of that substance in the result option d topography of integrated circuits so my dear friends the answer is actually option a b and c that means all the three options are correct except uh option d okay because uh, for this you can refer section 3 a uh, clause d of the patent act 1970 and um, keyword for section 3d we can remember a keyword or we can say that the that the key uh, phrase for section 3 clause d is new form of a known substance without enhancing efficacy fine so i can just uh, explain this you in a very um, common term okay uh, in hindi i would like to say actually दो और दो पांच हमने ये सुना है सो so, मैथमेटिकली दो और दो पांच पॉसिबल नहीं है मैथमेटिकली अगर हम देखेंगे तो दो और दो दैट मीन्स टू प्लस टू इक्वल टू फोर अगर टू प्लस टू इक्वल टू फोर इज द केस फाइन दैट मीन्स द सिचुएशन इज लाइक दिस देन this situation comes under section 3 clause d of the patent act 1970 and for this reason uh that particular invention cannot be patentable but when 2 plus 2 equal to 5 that means efficacy has been improved fine it is not mathematically it is 2 plus 2 equal to 4 but we are getting the result as 5 that means some efficiency some efficacy has been improved or enhanced in this situation that uh, invention can be patented fine i hope now it is uh, much more clear fine so how to remember this uh, as we are just as we know that there are so many clauses for section 3 and uh, we may get confused by the clause uh, uh, we can say the alphabets we can may get confused so here how to remember d because this is 3d so d d is differ significantly differ significantly if you can remember this keyword then you can just remember or recall the whole section why i am telling this just i am telling you one thing listen carefully friends uh section 3 clause d says for the purposes of this clause salt ester ether polymorph metabolites pure form particle size isomers mixtures of isomers complexes combinations and other derivatives of known substance shall be considered to be the same substance unless they differ significantly in properties with regard to efficacy that means why i have mentioned just a second friends just a second not to worry not to worry just a that means for this clause we can say that when they differ significantly with respect to the efficacy they can be patentable otherwise not i hope it is pretty much clear now so uh, thank you friends thank you all uh stay safe stay blessed please like share and subscribe my channel and if you are getting anywhere or if you are getting stuck anywhere please uh, comment compliment or put down your queries in my comment box thank you so much for listening to me and thank you so much for watching my video jai hind god bless you